Welcome to Washington State University, Vancouver. The School of Engineering and Computer Science currently offers three engineering programs, Computer Science, Electrical Engineering, and Mechanical Engineering. Join us as we explore these three programs. Computer science is the study of computers and computing, and it involves both the practical art and practice of designing software, as well as the theory behind what makes computers um, and algorithms efficient, reliable, robust, and secure. Uh, one of the differences between computer science and electrical engineering and computer engineering that's important for new students to appreciate is that computer science tends to focus much more on the software aspects of computing, whereas EE and computer engineering tend to focus much more on the hardware. The program at WSU Vancouver is rapidly growing, but it's still relatively small. What that means for an incoming student is that over the four years that you'll spend here, you'll end up knowing all of the faculty very well, and they'll also know you. Uh, this is important because WSU Vancouver is also a research institution, and that means most of the faculty here are engaged in research, um, and those projects are going on all the time, even as they're teaching. For lower division students and undergraduates in general, this means that there's an opportunity at WSU Vancouver to get involved in a long-term research project even early in your undergraduate career. This is a hands-on degree. Students will design software programs from their very first course here. Uh, once they get to the senior year, they'll engage in a year-long capstone project that's uh, solicited from industry partners within the local area. And then on that project, they'll work in a small group, typically around three or four people. Uh, and those students will communicate and engage with the industry representative to design and build a large software project over the course of their uh, final year here. In the artificial intelligence course that I teach, uh, we've done projects in the past where students have built bots to play computer games against human opponents or against other bots. We've built search algorithms to solve puzzles like Sudoku. In other courses, students might design a, a part of an operating system from the ground up. They might rebuild or re-implement part of an operating system uh, within a live ecosystem like Linux. Uh, in the web data management course, students in the past have built a web crawler, used that to collect um, web pages from the internet and then use big data tools to analyze what the content of that data corpus is. We have electives uh, on artificial intelligence, computer networking, embedded systems. Some of the most popular ones are the computer game design course and computer security. Electrical engineering is the field of engineering which deals with electricity, electronics, and electromagnetism. Uh, another way to look at that is we electrical engineers uh, wrangle electrons. We manipulate the flow of electrons for useful, uh, useful applications from very large quantities of electrons to in high power uh, power generation and distribution systems and ver to very small scale electrons like those that uh, activate the microcircuits here in this uh, my sm smartphone. Electrical engineering also deals with all forms of communication, wired and wireless. Radio was created by electrical engineers and managed by electrical engineers, so radio is what we now call wireless, um, and all wired communication is enabled by electrical engineers. So electrical engineers' um, work shows up in almost all modern products. 
Here at WSU Vancouver, we have a couple special facilities for electrical engineering students. One of them is the clean room, which is in the basement of this building. And this clean room is similar to the clean rooms that are used for semiconductor fabrication in industry. So our students can, in the clean room, do experiments fabricating semiconductor wafers and uh, microelectronic circuits. Another thing we have here is our RF lab, that's radio frequency lab. It's a laboratory which is completely shielded from electromagnetic waves. So that means that no radio signals, no wireless signals can get in or get out. So this allows students to perform very interesting experiments using wireless communication technologies in a very clean, controlled environment. Another thing you'll find here in the electrical engineering program at WSU Vancouver is small class sizes and personal interaction with the faculty. Uh, all of our classes are small. What I mean by that is 50 students or less. And uh, that allows the faculty to get to know all the students. So um, if you're looking for small classes and interaction with the faculty, this is a good place. Our electrical engineering degree is very hands-on. Um, more than half of our electrical engineering courses involve lab sections where students um, work with, uh, put their hands on electric circuits, electrical equipment, and electronic equipment. Several labs take place here in this room uh, where students use these electronic instruments that you see behind me. In this lab, students construct, analyze, and measure electronic circuits. Our electrical engineering program offers a pretty good variety of elective courses. We have no formal tracks, but you can select your uh, elective courses to specialize in areas like RF and wireless systems, semiconductor fabrication, electric power systems, digital and embedded systems, and renewable energy. Graduates of our electrical engineering program go on to successful careers in industry, some go on to um, a higher education, some go on to master's degree programs. Our students have gotten jobs and launched careers at organizations like Hewlett Packard, Intel, Bonneville Power Administration, Enlight Photonics, Pacific Core, Micron Technology, and Daimler Trucks North America. Mechanical engineering is an engineering discipline dealing with the design, analysis, manufacturing, and maintenance of mechanical systems for uh, small individual parts like inkjet printer nozzles to big scale systems such as airplanes. If something moves, uses energy, or has physical shapes, mechanical engineers are responsible. The WSU Vancouver offers the mechanical engineering degrees more than 10 years. Our program provides active learning environments to the students with offering hands-on curriculum, including labs and projects from local industry partners. You will have a chance to work in the state-of-the-art classrooms and labs on the real-world topics from your future employers. Also, there are many active student clubs in engineering so you will enjoy your life on campus. Mechanical engineering is very much a hands-on degree. One-third of mechanical engineering courses in our school are the lab courses, so you can spend quite a bit of time at the experimental labs, machine shop, or computer labs. Most classes contain hands-on projects, which are very similar what the mechanical engineers actually do at work. Let me share an example of a hands-on project with you. Uh, this is one of the projects from a design class, and then this is the window mechanism of M2 Freightliner truck. Students had a chance to design these pieces out of computer-aided software, and then they could 3D print it, and then they assembled to evaluate the mechanism of that truck. We have very strong core courses in mechanical engineering, such as mechanics, machine design, heat transfer, dynamic systems, manufacturing, and capstone design. 
We also have four very strong elective pathways in mechanical engineering, including micro nanotechnology, design and manufacturing, mechatronics, renewable energy. Mechanical engineering is one of the largest engineering disciplines. Imagine which engineering systems do not use energy or forces or have geometries or motions. Many of our graduates end up working as design engineer, manufacturing engineer, research engineer, system engineer, project engineer, or engineering manager at places like Boeing, Intel, or HP. One of the graduates in our program is now a senior mechanical engineer at Microsoft who designs Xbox and its accessory components. Another graduate went to HP to do research on paper motions in inkjet printer. Many of our graduates also started their own businesses as well.